First, take a Snazaroo paint in white and very roughly with a sponge, apply this to the high points of the face. You need to cover areas like the tops of the forehead, cheekbones, nose and the chin. And then also use this white to highlight the collarbone and the neck. Next, take Snazaroo Bright Yellow and very roughly apply this in a few areas over the top of the white. Next, follow with Snazaroo Pale Green and do exactly the same thing. And then apply another layer, this time using Snazaroo Lilac. Use a small amount of this colour around the eyes to make them look really bruised and infected and then go on to contour the rest of the face and neck. Take Snazaroo Dark Brown and use it to outline the eye sockets and then with your finger or a clean brush smudge the colour out. Add in the frown lines and then also add some brown to the temples, along the forehead and underneath the cheekbones to give the face some depth. You can also add some to the fleshy part of the nose to make it look really hollow. To create the wrinkles on the forehead, simply raise your eyebrows and then trace in the natural lines that form and gently smudge them out. And then do exactly the same thing for the frown lines and the crow's feet. And then finally, use this brown to add some shading to the neck. Next, switch to a Snazaroo Black and go over the eye sockets and the nose to make them look really deep and hollow. Then switch to a sponge and apply some of the black over the mouth and again use your fingers to really blend the colour out. Then switch to Snazaroo White and use a large round brush to gently press in the teeth. You want to make them larger on the top and smaller on the bottom. Use Snazaroo Burgundy and line the lower and upper eyelids and then smudge it out to make them look really sore and infected. You can also add a couple of other sores around the face and the mouth. And then, using a lid of one of the paints, mix the red colour in with a lot of water to make it really thin and runny. Once you have a good dribbly consistency, you can apply this to the teeth and let it dribble and run down the neck. Keep 
keep applying more and more paint until you're happy with the look and then you can also use your finger to splat some of the paint around the mouth and make it look really messy. Finally, add a little bit of blood dribbling from the hairline and you are all good to go. 